Hi there, White Cliff Planet X Plane Dedicated. Today we're going to fly the A300 600R from INI Builds. But before we do that, don't forget, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, and share. Right now, in previous videos, I've done a cold and dark start. I've done the uh, formatting and uh, programming of the MCDU. But today, we're actually going to fly this thing. So everything's been done. We've started, or should I say the APU is running. I'm just getting ready to start the engines as you can see here. See here. So I've turned on to system A and I'm already pushing back and uh, it's a push back. It's pushing me back and he's told me that I can start engine. So I'm going to start engine one. And you can see uh, M1 is rising there. And when it gets to 22, I will then input the fuel or flick the fuel switch on so it'll put the fuel in and uh, it'll fire up so we're just getting ready to do that now and yeah there you go you can see it. it's almost at 22 flick the fuel in and there we go engine is starting coming up to speed so now switch over and start engine one um, there used to be a thing about starting engines. Do you start the left hand, left hand engine first or the right hand engine first? I don't think it really matters. Um, there used to be a thing about going back years and years ago that you would always start the right hand engine first because that would be the engine away from the gates. I, I don't know. Although you find that some companies, airline companies, will have you start engines alternately on different days. So like on a Monday you'd start engine one and on a Tuesday you'd start engine two first. I think. Anyway, we're pushed back. I know there's a problem with better push push back and I haven't figured it out yet, but it will not disengage the tow truck. It says it's disengaging and to look at the hand signal on the left, but it never does. And I found that the only way that I can do it without breaking any parts of the aircraft is shutting down better pushback in the plugins administration. Uh, folder plugs plugins admin anyway because uh, if you don't and you just taxi away whilst it's still attached you guys break the nose wheel steering of the aircraft right so we're taxiing down to runway 30 for our Brecon 1 Alpha departure don't forget we're going Cardiff to Malpensa that's what all the tutorials have been about and you should taxi at no more than a fast walking pace, uh, anything faster and you can cause problems for yourself. Everything kind of happens a little bit quicker. Just going to check that the uh, spoilers are armed, that the CG is set, so just set the CG there. And uh, flaps are set to 15.15. Yep, that's all good. I've put in, uh, as you can see on the glare shield, on the... Uh, multi-control panel, the MCP, everything's in the decision height at uh, Malpensa. Got my um, VR speed, initial climb out to 6,000 feet, and uh, I've not adjusted the heading because obviously we'll be on autopilot. So here we are, runway 30, turning on to runway 30, four hour departure on Brecon 1 Alpha. Now, you're not going to see the full flight. I've obviously shortened it for obvious reasons, but what we have got is the takeoff and uh, set throttles to 40 and then um, toga. And at VR, as we can see here, as we come down the runway, we lift the nose 10 degrees. Uh, the aircraft climbs out steadily. It is fly-by-wire even though it's got a yoke and not a side stick <laughs> and uh, you can engage autopilots at a thousand feet there's gear up positive rate gear up we're climbing really nicely at a steady rate and uh, auto thrust auto thrust is on nav is on and profile so those are the three buttons that you need to hit auto thrust nav and profile and everything is fine just doing a, a little scan now of the cockpit so you go out on the as i say the Brecon 1 alpha departure 
towards uh, London, then over the south coast, down through France, over the uh, Alps, of northern Italy, and uh, our descent into Malpensa. Absolutely incredible aircraft this. It's, uh, it's a joy to fly. It does take a little bit of getting used to because you've got the integration of the electronic flight bag and the MCDU, um, which is slightly different, but it's really well done. I really like it. So I think it's one of the, the finer aspects of the aircraft. Um, the systems on this aircraft are very, very deep. Um, the MCDU or FMS, as known in a Boeing aircraft, is incredibly detailed. Uh, with many many of the pages being operative, I believe they're nearly at least 95% operative within it. So uh, that's really really good. We're, we're actually on our descent into Malpensa now, so I cut out a big chunk of the uh, cruise, but we flew up to flight level 350, 350, and now descending down. And as you can see here, I've turned on the LS or ILS. And you can see we're on the glide slope, centered on the uh, localizer, and we're descending down to the glide slope. So the bottom magenta carrot at the bottom uh, shows you localizer, and the right hand side shows you the glide slope. So we're coming down, we're now on the glide slope here, approximately uh, 4.7 DME out, so that's 4.7 miles. Obviously I've cut things a little bit just so we can get the flight in, but uh, handling perfectly. I will disengage autopilots at a thousand feet. So there we are, autopilots will be disengaged. Now the aircraft is mine, I'm hand flying this now. But one thing I will say is that the, the larger aircraft seem to be a lot more stable on things like approach. Here we are approaching 3.5 right and Ground radar comes on now. Just coming in to land. Speed is round about uh, 150. I, I should have checked exactly. Obviously, input in the approach configuration on this is not the same as in a modern Airbus. So you do, t you do need to take note of the numbers for your flaps. Here we are on the center line, coming into land at LIMC Malpensa, traffic waiting there to depart and touchdown. Nose wheel down, just off the center line a bit. Let's get back on. And a good tip for being on the center line is you want the center line exactly over your flight display. Just wandered off to the left there. We'll get back on in a second. There we are, almost on the center line. So there you have it. Hope you found it useful. I've enjoyed the uh, few videos that I've made for you. Don't forget, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, there are lots of people watching the videos that are not subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. It's on YouTube. Uh, leave a comment and share as well, please. It helps me and it helps the channel also. We'll see you soon. Cheerio.